Welcome back to Mason Talk. So today we are going to be talking about the Cleveland Browns. So once again, for about the 15th straight year, the Browns are going to be going into the offseason looking for their franchise quarterback. And this offseason, the Browns have a pretty good shot at finding a decent quarterback. We have a lot of cap space because, as I've said before, we didn't sign anybody last year. Um, we have a ton of draft picks, including the number one overall draft pick. The Browns reportedly are big fans of North Carolina's quarterback Mitch Trubisky. And earlier today, Mitch Trubisky officially declared for the NFL draft. So now the question is, should the Browns draft Mitch Trubisky with the number one overall pick? So I personally really like Mitch Trubisky. Uh, he's a big guy, 6'2", I think it is, 220. Uh, he's got a pretty good deep ball. He's pretty accurate. You know, he can get the ball to our deep threats, Corey Coleman, and potentially Terrell Pryor. He's a pretty mobile quarterback. He can move around, uh, you know, when his pocket's collapsing. He can run around, get himself some more time. He can throw on the run. And um, being mobile is pretty important with the Browns because... Uh, our offensive line, they're not the greatest pass blockers in the world. You probably noticed we went through about eight quarterbacks last year. So being mobile and being able to run around the pocket is a very important skill to have if you want to be the Cleveland Browns quarterback. So Mitch Trubisky is a big guy. He can, you know, move around the pocket, throw the ball downfield. But the thing that makes me want to draft him the most is the fact that he wants to be drafted by the Cleveland Browns. Top college quarterbacks normally don't say they want to be drafted by the Cleveland Browns. The last top college quarterback who said they wanted to be drafted by the Cleveland Browns was a guy named Bernie Kosar. Mitch Trubisky was born and raised in Ohio. He lived in Mentor, played for Mentor High School, and he wants to be drafted by the Cleveland Browns. I am a big fan of Mitch Trubisky, and I would not be upset if Mitch Trubisky was on our roster come next season, but I per, I don't, the, the problem is, is I do not want them to draft Trubisky number one overall. Quarterback is definitely a problem. I think the Browns need to address this offseason, but it's not the only problem the Browns have. Our defense was garbage last year. Uh, partially, I blame that on Ray Horton. I'm glad we have a new defensive coordinator, even if it is Greg Williams who places bounties on players. But that's the past. What was I saying? <laughs> the Browns are in desperate need of some playmakers on defense, especially defensive line. And um, I don't think you can pass on Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett is one of the best defensive end prospects we've seen in the past few years. I just don't think you can pass on him. You need some help defensively, and Miles Garrett is a great defensive player. The Browns absolutely could not pressure quarterbacks last year. Miles Garrett will change that. So I don't think the Browns should take Mitch Trubisky number one overall. We have another first round draft pick, which I think is number 12 from the Eagles. Uh, but the problem is, Mitch Trubisky is probably not going to be available at number 12 because somebody is probably going to have drafted him. So I want the Browns to take Miles Garrett number one, and um, I'd like to see them trade up to get Trubisky. The problem is you're going, you might have to trade up to as high as number two because the Niners might want to take him. I don't know what the Niners are going to want for the number two overall pick. Uh, we have a lot of picks that we can trade. We have like two second rounders a couple third rounders, a couple fourth rounders. Um, I don't, I mean, I would not, I want them to trade up to number two, but I'm not sure if the Niners, like, I don't know what they're going to ask for. We have the first pick of the second round. I would be willing to give up the first pick of the second round, but I don't want to give up first rounders from next year. Um, I would really like to see Trubisky on the Browns, but I think it's going to be very difficult to get him if we don't take him first overall. So I don't know. I really like Mitch Trubisky, but also I really like Miles Garrett. Let me know in the comments, if you are the Cleveland Browns, what do you do with the number Number one overall pick do you take Miles Garrett do you take Mitch Trubisky do you take anyone else if you're not gonna take Mitch Trubisky you're taking Miles Garrett but yeah so thanks for watching Mason Talks make sure you subscribe to Mason Talks for more NFL NBA world champion Cleveland Cavaliers and also Cleveland Browns videos make sure you leave a like on this video and I will see you in my next video goodbye